Hello and welcome to this little video where I'm going to show you something I just found out. Uh, and that is how to do these kind of stars. Blue shiny stars. I have done some experimenting with different kind of mediums here in my uh, spare copy of Ivy. And I also done it as snowflakes. That's actually how it started and I really like them and wanted to try them how it worked in a book because this is a print on a paper that should be good for colored pencils uh, so oh yeah it worked in the books too uh, and what I did was I have done a layer uh, I did a layer of a Tombow it's the 535. I'm gonna show you. It's blue. You know, I like blue backgrounds. <laughs> I have done a lot of them. Uh, but as it is water based, it's kind of patchy, streaky. You can see that. The lines. I could have used an uh, alcohol marker if I had a protection sheet behind. I mean it's nothing to ruin, it's not a book, it's nothing there, but I don't have any alcohol marker in this color. Actually I realize I need to buy that because I do like this dark blue backgrounds in all mediums, uh, but I did it with this and then I this uh, picture have all these snowflakes and I have been working a lot with these ones. They're not finished yet. I'm practicing to do, try to do sparkle without doing sparkle. Uh, the way Mae Brox does and the way she talks about in the latest episode of Passionista Colorista podcast. Uh, I can't say I have done it very good. I think the, the ones without the dots is looking better, but Anyhow, it's fun. But what I was going to show you, sorry for all the talk, is that what I did uh, after the first layer was that I thought it was too light. I'm going to pick one big one, big snowflake, this one. Uh, so I'm doing another a layer of pencils on top. This is the indigo blue, Prismacolor. Prismacolor is good because it's kind of opaque and creamy. So one layer on top of this will be perfect. And yes, first I thought I it was a waste of color to do the first layer with a pen. But then I tried to use it on this book, just pencils, and it didn't turn out the same way and I need like three different shades. I think this was Copenhagen blue and China blue and indigo blue. And it's still not the same color as this. So it happens something when you layer it on top of the water-based pen. It gets darker and richer somehow. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it for the whole background, but not on vid this video. So yeah. When I have done that, I took the Cerulean Blue, also Prismacolor, and I colored on top of the line. Mostly on the on one side. Uh, quite a thick layer to try to uh, make the line kind of invisible, melting into the background. And then I took the Sky Blue Light and went over that darker color and blended it into the snowflake, but leaving some white. Yeah, and that's what how I did the stars in the book too. The same method. Here I used it exactly the same way with a Tombow as a base layer and then dark indigo on top and cerulean blue and light sky blue light here i used it the background is just pencils uh, and it also worked 
but I thought the it was a cooler effect with the cerulean blue on top of the lines on here because it kind of yeah it's more visible here here is more in blended just into the all the other colors and not that visible uh, here I used it on top of uh, what was the name of that uh, it's a Posca it's a dark blue one navy blue Posca sorry navy blue Posca uh, and I thought the color difference was a bit too big here but it's it works obviously and here it was on top of the, the lighter the or original just blue Posca uh, I didn't really like that combo I think it's too too blue I would darken it up with yeah you can put indigo on top of this too but I think yeah you can color on top of Posca although I thought I prefer to do it on top of this Tombow. Uh, and here I used uh, alcohol markers which bleed through. Not that mu much that I thought but still. Uh, I did, didn't have any dark blue so I took a light blue and then took pencils on top uh, and this just became a mess. <laughs> but <laughs> of course you can do it on top of, of uh, alcohol markers uh, if you have a darker one. Uh, but yeah, so this is how I'm going to do the snowflakes on this picture. I'm going to... Oops, sorry. I'm going to do the dar the dark indigo. I think that is the name of the uh, polychromos. This is just in blue indigo. Indigo blue. So, and then I go with the cerule cerulean blue around the line on this side and a bit into the snowflake and then the blend it with snow snowflake with the sky blue light but leave some white for a shiny effect i guess you could use this with a moon as well if you want a cold whitish moon uh yeah Hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to. I'm going to try to do more videos as this one when I come up with some new stuff I like. Uh, see you later. Bye.